Hello YouTube, Skimpadoodoo here, and welcome to part 7 of how to build your own go-kart. So right now in part 7, I'll be teaching you guys how to attach your pedals to your engine and your brake caliper, and also be teaching you guys how to mount your seat. So the parts you're going to need are some springs, two brake cables, a seat, and a brake caliper, and it's highly recommended that your brake caliper is hydraulic. And for the sake of this part being so short, I'm just going to do it all in one clip. So this is what you should have. You should have your spring attached to your pedal. So then whenever you push your pedal, it will automatically release it back. And then you want to have a high quality brake cable attached to your pedal. And then you want to wire that brake cable all the way to the back of the go-kart to your throttle. So then whenever you push the pedal, it will push the throttle. And then you want to do the exact same thing on the other side for the brakes, except instead of wiring the cable to your engine, you want to wire the cable to your brake caliper that you mounted. So whenever you push the pedal, it will automatically push the brake caliper. And then this right here is what you should have. You should have brake disc aligned with your brake caliper. And then to attach your seat, I just simply use some bolts and that will work just fine. You can do the exact same thing. And don't forget that you can go to thecomputerdude.com to view or download your own free go-kart plans. I'll have a link for that inside the description box below. And this video concludes the entire how to build a go-kart series. And don't forget to subscribe because I'll be posting a whole new series of a ton of go-kart mods.